Hola amigos, welcome to today's video. So for today, I'm going to show you guys what's on my phone. Yes, I know, very YouTuber y, but a lot of people do it. And I've done it before, but not on this channel. So I was like, okay, I should do it. And that video was when I had a 4S. Now I have a 6, iPhone 6. And I know you guys are probably like, oh my God, that's a really old phone. But it's not okay, it's not that the holes. Tell me down below, what's your favorite app? Okay, let's go. So let's start with the case of my phone. So I just have a pink outer box and then I put on an Apple logo on it for my pop socket. I got it for free from SM Mall. And it's just a pink girly, I don't know what you call it, but it's a pop socket. Okay, let's open up my phone. Little pink is there, I still have not changed my background, I cannot. I can't do it, it's just too hard for me to change the background. So I just have pinky there. So let's start from the very top and then let's just build our way down. Calendar, you know, the normal iPhone calendar. And I don't really use it that much. I just use it to check, you know, the kids are very noisy, very nice. I just, you know, look through it sometimes. You don't use it for planning so much because I have a, a journal like with paper kids. Next to it, I have just a regular clock. You know, <laughs> I don't know what to film. You see, I have world clocks, and this one is really important for me because I have family scattered around the world. So, on the very top, I have Portland, which is my mom. So, I can see, you know, if I can call her or not, you know, if it's midnight over there or who knows. And then I have Manila because sometimes if I'm abroad, like if I'm in the US, I have to check what time it is here, if I want to call my family here. And then I also have Copenhagen because my grandmother lives in Copenhagen. And then I have Chicago because of Liz. So Liz might be if she's in Chicago. Oh, for my bedtime I have it set at 12 a.m. midnight and then I wake up at 6 a.m. It's very rare that I follow these but I just have it set for some reason. And then next to it is notes. I can't really show you guys the notes because I have top secret stuff in there. No, but I have some stuff in there that I don't want to show uh, to everyone. But I guess I could show something fun. I have a pasalubong list that I can show you guys for my mom. And I have two pasalubong lists. Pasalubong basically means like gift from abroad. And I have a list for my mom and for Michael and Chelsea and all that. I just have mama's filled out for right now like the stuff she wants so that when i go to grocery stores here i can just check through my pasalubong list and be like hmm what does mama want and then i just randomly like if i if she says something like oh i wish i had like pink slippers then i would be like okay i will write that in my pasalubong list idea so i did the same thing from like when i'm in the u.s i have the same pasalubong list but for my family here in the Philippines. Next to it is a calculator which I use quite a lot because I'm not the best at math so I like using the calculator. Then I have the translator app Google Translate. I downloaded this one because we got a Japanese washing machine and I had to like take pictures of the writing so I could translate it and that's a cool thing about the Google Translate guys. If you ever are somewhere like if you are in another country if you are in a foreign country you don't know what everything means like the signs or in the grocery stores you don't understand the ingredients you can just click on the camera and then take a picture of whatever you want of whatever text you want and they will translate it for you and this is basically the most helpful app if you're traveling a lot next to it i have a folder called games uh, where i have games <laughs> and i only have two games we have the best fiends not because i like it that much but because basically every youtuber promotes it and so i'm like in the hopes of one day being sponsored by best fiends i'm going to download it and keep it on my phone forever until they sponsor me because like you never know sometimes you'll be shocked and all of a sudden you're sponsored by best fiends you like you never know i don't really play it that much because i don't like it that much but shh, don't tell best fiends okay if best fiends are is watching i like it very like a lot i love best fiends next to it is my favorite game it's called homescapes oh my god i'm obsessed with homescapes you're basically a butler or not you're not really a butler you're the butler's friend the butler has some really rich parents i don't understand why he's a butler if his parents are like incredibly rich but i don't know it's a game so it doesn't make sense um, 
But in this game, I'm on the level 183. Like, I'm obsessed with this game. I'm stuck on this level though. I, I don't know how to get away from this level. Then next to it, I have a folder called La 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 La. <laughs> and I have Spotify, where I recently got a premium Spotify account, which makes me so happy. Because when we, was, uh, when we were on the road trip, we were still able to listen to music, even though we were far up in the mountains with no signal whatsoever. And then next to it, I have the music app. I didn't download this one. It's just, you know, the normal one on the phone. I never use it. And then I have podcasts. And in the podcast, it's very important. I love my podcasts. I didn't used to like podcasts, but I like it now because of David Dobrik, uh, his and Jason's podcast called Views. I listen to their every episode. I love their show. You guys should listen to them. I also have Duolingo Spanish podcast in there because I'm studying Spanish. Then, so, then I also have Coffee Break Spanish and they are really great at telling you the basics of Spanish. Then next to it, I have a, like possibly the most important folder ever. It's called Schooliglat and it's combined with school and polyglot. So it's Schooliglat. I have iBooks and then in iBooks it's filled with all of my school books. I have so English, history, math and chemistry. And then I also have the Oregon driving instruction manual because I'm going to learn how to drive. I'm learning already but you know so I know the rules because here in the Philippines there's no rules to be honest like the signs on the roads don't even matter here almost it I have Socratic Socratic has been a lifesaver when it comes to math guys whenever you have a really hard equation and you cannot solve it take you just have to take a picture of the equation and it will solve it for you now honestly sometimes it makes mistakes so don't just copy from it what you should do if, if you really cannot solve something in math an equation take a picture of it and and try to solve it yourself knowing the answer that makes sense you can search anything and they're great like they have tons of websites linked for you already so you don't really have to research like it let's say i want to learn about einstein i go on socratic i like i just write einstein and the tons of pages will come up and i can you know read about einstein next to it i have duolingo which i've talked about a lot uh, in my last video so you can check that video out if you want more in depth about my polyglot section of this folder so I'm not going to go into that then I have the dictionary app and then I have Rosetta Stone I don't have an account with them yet uh, we're going to get one in January and I have the hello talk app and then Spanish dictionary going down a layer I have my FaceTime and I have messages I have three important contacts I guess you could say so the mama USA one and then the fam which consists of me Tita G, Tita G, mommy my grandma and then mama and then I have another fam, <laughs> I have another fam, which is called the Fam USA. The Fam USA is my mom, Michael, Chelsea and I. The next to it, uh, next to it I have the birthday board. Uh, this is so important guys. I downloaded this because I kept on forgetting people's birthdays. I was like, okay, I need an app to tell me when somebody has a birthday. This app is great because it will tell you a week before the person's birthday. And then next to it I have the camera, which I use quite a lot. And then under that I have a folder called health and then I have the health app you know the normal one on the phone then I have another one which is called very fit pro which is for this one it's for my watch I like to call it my Apple watch it's not an Apple watch it is basically a, a Fitbit but a Fitbit a faux Fitbit I guess you could say it's not the real Fitbit either uh, so it's the lowest of the lowest but at least it works uh, and it says you know my how many steps I took for today, calories, kilometers, what time it is, what day it is. Next to it, I have the weather app and I have tons of places in here, the places I'm usually in. And then next to it, I have the settings, the normal. And then I have the app store. Then under that, I have a folder called travel. And there I have grab, because here in the Philippines, you don't really, you use you Uber, but you use grab more. And then I have the maps one. I don't know what, what's the difference between those two, but I use the Google Maps more. And then under that, I have the geocache app, which I'm obsessed with. Next to it, I have the photography uh, folder. And I have a transfer app, which is basically to, you know, transfer photos from your phone to your laptop. I have the Facetune uh, 2 app, 
because I'm too cheap to buy the Facetune app so I take the Facetune 2 app and I use it sometimes where I'm feeling really self-conscious about my skin but I honestly honestly don't use it that much and it's obvious in my Instagram photos that I don't use it that much then I have the Netflix app which Netflix is life I have Netflix and Netflix my voice is slowly disappearing guys, I'm sorry. Next to it I have a folder called texting app and I honestly don't know why I have a folder. There's crabs. Uh, bit okay, thank you very much. Then I have the texting folder with Bitmoji. Bitmoji is the only app I have in there, so I really should not have a folder for it, but who knows. And then on the bottom section you can see calling app and then the email app and then safari obviously i use safari a lot and then the most important one i know i said earlier that the school one was important but this is honestly more important the social media folder where i have twitter aria abf and v011 instagram aria abf and v011 then i have pinterest then i have snapchat then i have youtube and all of those I use every day basically. I love social media. I breathe social media. I am social media. And then if you swipe it, I have my useless apps and I just put like all of the apps that I don't care about. I don't have an Apple Watch. Apple really wants me to buy an Apple Watch, guys. I just named it useless files because I really don't care about that one. <laughs> then <laughs> that is it for my phone guys that's all that's on my phone my favorite game is homescapes what's your favorite game tell me tell me tell me and also tell me any video suggestions what do you want me to film next tell me like videos that i can film like this one where i don't have to move around a lot and um, where i don't really need stuff what's left you might say which is why i need your requests so thanks guys please go down to the description and click on Ariaville which is my vlogging slash mukbang channel and I post there more often than I do on this channel um, like a few times a week I'm gonna go get the facial that sounded like I, sound, I sounded like a Hollywood girl Bing. thanks for watching guys gracias for I will see you guys the next time my voice is gone thanks for watching guys adios amigos Ooh. Ooh.